welcome back to my channel. I make videos about everything. Lifestyle, family, tech, interiors, I love it all. Um, in this video, Miller and I are gonna take you on a rite of passage. But before we get into the nitty gritty, let's go on a field trip. Hello and welcome to this very special vlog. Yes, that's right, Miller is ready for secondary school, uh, which is seventh grade to all my American viewers. It's incredible to us that she's this old already. But here you have it, a rite of passage, our first stationary buying haul for secondary school. We're gonna start off at the Mecca that is Tottenham Court Road, Paper Chase. managed to get a lunch box. I am absolutely boiling. It seems very grey in London today but deceptively hot and steamy now. We've come to the Royal Academy to see the summer exhibition. It's Miller's first time and this year it's created by Grace and Perry so we're very excited to see what's on offer. overwhelming and crowded. We've had some lunch and now we're doing a proper refuel uh, with some ice cream. I've got peanut butter and chocolate. Milla has blueberry and is it blackcurrant? Blackberry. Blackberry. Blueberry and blackberry. It's from Udelicious in Seven Dials which is one of the best ice cream places in London. Oh. And indeed the world. Um, and now we're going to hit the art shops hard. great day in London. It was long and tiring and we ate donuts on the way home on the train. Uh, which was your favourite shop? Um, I really liked Present and Correct because they had loads of cool stuff. And I liked Art Box because they had loads of really cute cat stuff. Isn't that the truth? Now, we probably spent more than was appropriate. Um, so it's only fair, seeing as you guys on Twitter helped me decide where we were going and cheered me on while I overspent, that we share everything with you. So I think we're going to start off with our internet purchases. 
Um, and then we'll show you what we got in London. So first up, we did some shopping on Etsy and there's a really nice Korean and Japanese stationery store called Itty Bitty Fox, which is actually based here in Winchester. So if you're watching, hello, I'm so happy to be supporting a local business. And we got Miller a cat pen and cat stickers so that she can decorate everything because like, what's the point of all your stationery being boring? No points. Next up, I ordered a few bits and pieces from Pencil Me In shop, which is actually all the way up in Scotland. And Sarah, who runs it, is so much fun on Twitter. I wasn't gonna go all the way up there, but thankfully they deliver. Um, we got Miller some rulers. So we got this hay ruler and an oh dear brass ruler, which is really handy to put in the pencil case. We got her uh, Milano rubber, uh, which has this lovely frog on it. And best of all, Pencil Me In do custom printed pencils. So you can get your own embossed pencils. And Miller got a set of six, which say Kitty's Forever, because Kitty's Forever, of course. What is life without highlighters? It is a dull life. Um, I saw these mini pastel Stabilo highlighters and I just felt that they were very much the kind of thing that you need when you're starting secondary school. Even if you probably don't have to highlight that much, um, they're just too cute not to have for decoration. Another piece of standard issue equipment is the scientific calculator. Now, I actually thought that my university calculator, because it's the exact same model, would be absolutely fine. I've still got it, it still works. But inexplicably, they've actually changed some of the symbols on the calculator. Um, so we had to buy a brand new one, but luckily they're not quite as expensive as they were back in the 90s. I got Miller a mini version of my water bottle um, because it is really nice to have an insulated water bottle, especially in summer. I've been loving mine all summer because you just put ice cubes in it in the morning, they cool down the water and it's still cold every time you drink from it. We went with a Chili's bottle and Miller bought the powder blue, which I think is a very good color choice. And the last of our internet orders is from ASOS. Now I've waited all summer for them to put out their 20% off code because um, it means that things that don't normally go into the sale, you can get a discount on. And Miller wanted to get a Kankan as her school bag, which famously don't go into the sale very often. Um, so we've been scoping this out. Now they've got a rule at school that you can only really have dark colors, which is quite limiting. But I think this color, like a sort of deep sea green with um, a pink strap and pink straps on the back. I think that manages to both be like a dark colour, but also quite fun. So hopefully she won't get kicked out of school on the first day for having that as her bag. Okay, so then on to the in-person shops. Now, the first item I bought from Paper Chase, I actually bought online, because I wasn't sure if you could get these customised in store. Miller has to ride the bus to school, so I've bought her a customised bus pass, which has her name embossed in gold, I mean, understated or what, on the front, and it just means that she has a nice case to keep her pass in um, that she can use on the bus every day. Next up, the standard maths set, ruler, set square, compass, protractor, all of those things that you just can't do a maths lesson without. While we're in Paper Chase, we tried out a lot of pens, but we only really like this Kawaii multicolored pen. So I think it has six different colors. Um, so purple, green, orange, red, blue, and black. And it has this cute little star on it. Uh, on Miller's equipment list, they have to have different color pens for marking different types of work. So I thought this was a handy all-in-one. And like, who could resist? Like, who can resist these pens? I'm still obsessed with clicking them. I just love clicking them. That's what I used to do at school, is click my pen. Why? That's probably why I didn't get anywhere. <laughs> And the last item that we picked up in Paper Chase, and I'm with you, I thought we were gonna buy more in Paper Chase, but actually 
And then I wasn't keen for much of it. But this is probably one of my favourite things that we bought. It's her lunchbox. It's a pretty simple design. It's quite a standard lunchboxy type lunchbox. But it has a couple of really neat design features, which I appreciate. So first up, it has a silicon band, which wraps the whole thing together and attaches. Inside the lid, there is an ice pack. Um, it's pretty low profile, so it's not very heavy, but it is making this box really cold. We got it out of the freezer to show it to you. Then you have a little tray that you can lift off, so you can have snacks or extra food on top here, and then you have the main compartment for the sandwiches. It's all microwave safe. It can go in the dishwasher. I like the design. I like the combination of the Tupperware style, but BPA free plastic uh, with the silicon accents and the color is boss. What can I say? This was a good pick. Next, we went to London Graphic Art Center, which I thought would be a paradise for Miller. And you really loved it in there, didn't you? You spend so much time trying out different materials. Thanks. Oh, the pens and all of the markers and the pencils and the pastels. And I think what I hadn't anticipated is um, as somebody who loves art, like Miller does, how overwhelming it is to be around so many brand new, beautiful art materials. So we had kind of planned to get a few things in there and ended up coming away with just this small set of watercolor papers by Cass Art because um, it was just a bit too much. I think London Graphic might be one to go to when Miller's getting ready to do GCSE art, if she chooses that, um, when she's a bit more confident in which materials she likes and which ones she wants to try out, because it is expensive. Like you're looking at pens that are maybe 10 pounds each. And that can be quite daunting when you're not really sure if you like using them yet. Next, we walk down the street to um, Art Box, which is a stationery and homeware shop with Korean and Japanese products. So first, we picked up a bookmark. It's like magnetic and stuff. It's a little you can. And then we got some spring-loaded scissors, which I'm going to put in my pencil case because they're quite small and practical. And they're also cat paws. <laughs> Next, we um, went to get some post-it notes and page mark notes. Like, they're quite cute and handy to have. I also picked up a sketchbook and a notebook because they're quite cute and, I don't know, I wanted them. Yeah. You use a lot of sketchbooks and notebooks. I do. You do. They're very handy. Then Mama suggested I get these document cases for putting essays and sheets into them. The next shop we went to was Present and Correct, and Mama's friend owns it, so he gave us lots of extra stuff. You were really spoiled, weren't you? <clears throat> yeah. It was, it was like going to see a generous uncle. Best trip mm -hmm. ever. Uh, we've actually been customers of Present and Correct for... 10 years I bought hey. yeah 10 years I bought his first um print that he put online under the present and correct name um which was an A to Z of endangered animals of the British Isles which I still love and is still so beautiful um it's upstairs yeah, yeah it's upstairs and, and so it was a real treat to finally, finally go to his shop. And I'm going to make a confession. I actually only realised a couple of years ago he had a real life shop. So if you're like me, if you're a Present Correct fan on Instagram, on Twitter, on the internet of buying stationery and you haven't realised that you can go in the shop and see it for real, I suggest you get down there. First of all, I went in his Lucky Dip machine, which is where you put two pounds in and twist it and you get a little surprise bubble for stationery. I got some triangle paper clips and a little pink rubber. Neil also gave me three letterpress timetable cards. I got a pencil case essential. It's a sharpener. <laughs> it's a sharpener, which is satisfyingly weighty. Satisfyingly weighty. German. Oof. I picked up a Kuinor hexagonal rubber. Is that it? Yeah. Which has a little hole in it. And it's, it's, a little, it's a little dimple in the middle, which is very nice to pinch. 
between your thumb and forefinger. I have one on my desk that I won't let the children hold. These are some pens and pencils I got. I got two hay pencils with a cap and two live work colour block pens. I also got a set of colour on colour pens which have different colours and different nib shapes. They're double ended with different colours at each end. One end has a thin end, thin nib, and the other is chisel nibbed. The best thing I got here was my pencil case, which I really love. I looked at pencil cases in all the other shops, but I didn't really like them. But when I saw this one, I knew it was for me. It was only green left as well. The others were all black. Is that right? Yeah. You really love green, don't you? I really like that green too. It's a very and nice green. Texture. It's different. It's unusual. It's nice. <laughs> And right at the end of the day, when I thought I was pretty much ready to collapse, we rounded off our trip with a visit to Muji. Now, you've never been in the stationery section of Muji before, have you? What did you think? I don't know. Fancy. Fancy! Mm. Muji has some of the best gel pens. So I picked Miller up a whole set of black 0.5 gels because they're a really easy pen to work with. They're handy... And what is a stationery haul without your very own store cupboard? I get immense joy um, from buying my favourite pen by the box load and going to the stationery cupboard to get myself a new one. So I feel like this is Miller's own mini version with six pens. Green and purple pens were specifically noted on Miller's kit list. So we grabbed her a couple from Muji. One is retractable and one has a lid. So very easy, nice colours and again, nice, just mm. good Muji design. Really love it. I think one of my favourite things that we picked up in Muji was the retractable highlighter. Yep, a retractable highlighter. I like it so much that I actually swiped it to highlight all of our festival programmes last weekend. <laughs> um, it's just a really nice little design. It's green, it's got click top and just a chisel nib inside. Nice to have that in the pencil case because often highlighter lids come off and the pen goes everywhere. They can also be quite chunky, whereas this is just a tiny bit rounder than a normal pen. We got a couple of basics. We picked up some glue and a correction pen so that Miller can correct her mistakes. I think this is the first time you've ever seen one of these, isn't it? Is it like magic? Yeah. Um, but yeah, nice stubby little correction pen. Um, again, very simple. Love Muji for exactly this reason. Nice basic stationery. And the last thing we got was a very plain and simple to-do list pad so that when Miller has quite a few different things to be getting on with, she can put them down on the to-do list, tick them off, because if you've got this far in the video, it's because you love stationery as much as we do, and you know how satisfying a good to-do list is. And so that is everything that we picked up. What do you think? Can you remember your secondary school stationery shopping haul? I certainly remember mine. It was not quite as exciting as this. I have to admit the 90s were a dry time for stationery. What would you have got that we've missed out? And do you think we went over the top? Let us know in the comments. Um, like the video, subscribe if you enjoy listening to my voice. There's a lot of it on this channel. <laughs> and we will see see you again in our next video. Bye!